We both finally made it. We made it to a moment I thought would never get here. And to be entirely honest, the fact that I'm here with you still feels like a dream that I didn't ever think would come true. My feelings for you take me all the way back to Arkadelphia those many years ago in Papa D's diner. Little did I know that that was only the start to what has flourished into an overflowing cup of love and happiness. My time in college had its good moments and I have brought some of my best friends and favorite memories from those years. But what most people don't know is that my four years at Overview were some of the darkest and hardest years of my life. But I found something there. Something beautiful. Something bright. Something that made me genuinely happy. I found you. I found Sarah Weaver, my best friend. The woman I found near impossible not to think about, but also the woman I thought I never stood a chance with. The woman that was always so far out of my league that it was better that I didn't even try. But here we are. Both of us, in this exact moment, feeling a level of love and happiness that I have never known. And I know that this feeling for you will only grow and grow. Even through all the times of darkness and pain, I would do it again. I would do it again a thousand times over if, I'm, if it meant that I got to stand right here on this stage, preparing to spend the rest of my life with you. And for that reason, Sarah Weaver, I vow to protect you, love you, care for you no matter how dramatic you're being, to always be the ears you need when you need someone to listen and your voice when you need someone to speak. I vow to be wholeheartedly honest with you. I vow to hold your hand through all the thunderstorms and doctor's visits I made you go to. I vow to fairly negotiate the number of hours you get to nap during the day. Most importantly, I vow to be the spiritual leader that God has called me to be. What kind of man would I be if I took the most beautiful and perfect gift that he has ever given me and not use it to glorify his name? Sarah Weaver, I vow to be the absolute best husband and father that I can possibly be. And I will love you and commit myself to you and only you from this day forward until my last day. Thomas, when we first met our sophomore year, I knew there was something special about you. We had an instant connection. The second time being around you was when it really hit me. You were someone that I wanted in my life. I'm not sure if it was the stylish blue dino you drove us around in, or your ability to hit the highest notes in every Usher song. All I know is that I called my mom that next day and told her that I met my soulmate. All through college, we remained friends, no matter how long we'd go without talking or how busy we got. I always came back to you. I knew I loved you senior year in college. Since I've known you, you have filled my life with so much joy. You have made me happier than I ever thought possible. I never knew how it felt to be truly desired or loved until you. I never thought I would find a man that truly made me feel safe and would always be on my side, no matter who was around until you. You make me a better person every day. I promise to tell you that I love you each and every day. I promise to pursue you for the rest of my life. I promise to honor you and respect you. I promise to ask if you're okay when I know you're not until you break down and tell me what's going on. I promise to continuously work on myself so that I'm the best version of me for you. I love you with all of my heart and I can't wait to become your wife.